People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. Parker Reed, a few questions ahead of the discussion. Concerns such as TMIO, saturated fat, cholesterol. I did make a couple of comments about the saturated fat. Everybody thought saturated fat was a killer. Until Nina Teicholz took a book and wrote a book and it was called The Big Fat Surprise. Now, that was a good book. It was not so hard in hard science, you know, like what we talk about here, but it was really good science reporting. And she raised questions for a lot of people, and so much so that after that, several meta-analyses were done and came out about saturated fat. All of these analyses show that saturated fat is not a risk factor. Now, a lot of people would say, then it's good for you. It didn't really show that it was good for you either, but it did show that it's not a risk factor. And for those of us for whom carbohydrates are poison, it's a big deal. You want to be able to get calories. I have a lot of people who are really watching their carbs, rightly so, because carbs are poison for them and carbs injure their vascular tree. And that's actually over half of us at this point in time. So the ability to get some calories in there that are other than carbs is very, very important. Now, Parker, the other thing that I didn't mention. So a TMAO, as we discussed, not an issue. Saturated fat doesn't look like it's an issue. And I didn't mention cholesterol because I thought that most of the people watching this channel have the level of sophistication and background knowledge I don't hear many people say anymore, oh, I don't want to eat cholesterol because that's going to cause me problems. I think and hope that we got rid of that misperception decades ago. It was very true back in the 60s that people thought that, that cholesterol was a big problem. And despite the fact our body makes dozens of times more cholesterol than we would ever eat in a day. Parker Reed. Unless you know where your meat came from, there are concerns on antibiotics, hormones, and animals are given. Well, those are concerns, but, you know, it's also like fish. I eat a lot of salmon, and people say, oh, you must have a huge salmon bill. Where do you get your salmon? It's got to be fresh caught. I hate to tell you, I eat a lot of farmed salmon, and it's like, I know I'm going to get a lot of hater comments about that. Bottom line is, and I've seen the videos about all of the the challenges with, you know, the, how nasty farm salmon can be. Bottom line is, go back and take a look at your statistics. You don't see people going into the hospital and having strokes and getting maimed and killed by problems with farm salmon, no matter how dirty it is. You don't see that from hormones in meat growing. I have no argument that all of these are issues. They're very serious issues. In fact, we have the overuse of antibiotics in farms. You know, I've been a corporate medical director all my life, and I have spent more time than I want to tell you coaching docs not to overuse antibiotics. Well, and then I find out later in my career that while I was trying to watch the front door, the, the fox was stealing the chickens in the back. Industrial level farmers were using so many antibiotics, farms were creating more of this problem than doctors were. That's not entirely true, but I'm not going to get into the details on it. So I'm far less concerned. I, I agree that these are all problems, bacteria, antibiotics, and hormones, but they're nothing like the problem that we get when we say, okay, well, I'm not going to eat any of that. I'm not going to eat any of that. I'm just going to eat carbs instead. Well, that's what's killing us.